In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple program that uses the infrared sensor in the EV3 Mindstorm software. So let's go ahead and open up a new project. And in this project, I'm going to first add a loop. This is if you want your program to repeat over and over again, and right now I want it to do that. I'm going to add another loop inside this loop so we get two loops. And then I'm going to add this move steering block, which basically tells both of the drive motors, which move the robot, to keep moving. And these are the different types of measurements you could use. Rotations, degrees, seconds. Right now I'm just going to leave it on. So basically it these motors just spin forever and I'm gonna make the speed 40 I don't want to be too fast right now okay so now we have our move block inside our loop and we want to enable the infrared sensor so to do that we're going to click here and here is where all the different all the different ways that you could end your loop so you can move on to the rest of your program so I'm going to choose the infrared sensor and go to proximity. And for distance, I'm going to do less than or equal to 10 centimeters. <coughs> so basically what this is saying is that the robot's going to keep moving forward. And if it senses an object less than or equal to 10 centimeters away, it's going to go on to the, to the next part of the program. And let's add that part right now. So I'm going to just add this, another move steering block. And I'm just going to put it on for rotations. I'm going to move it, just say, in this direction. I'm going to make the speed 40. And let's say we have two rotations. So basically this means the motor is going to move two times and I want it to break. This means, coast means that they just, you don't give power, the program doesn't give power to the motors anymore, but they still spin. Break means that the motors abruptly stop. Okay, and for fun, I'm just going to add a sound block. Here, let me just close that really quick. And let's just go with the dog bark. Okay, so there we go. We have our program. Uh, basically what happens is that in this loop, the robot keeps moving forward. And then once it senses an object less than or equal to 10 centimeters away, it's going to go on and do this. It's going to turn to the left. Once it turns to the left, it's going to play the sound file. And this loop will take it all the way back here again and it'll keep moving forward and once it sets an object it'll just do this again so yeah it's all a giant loop and it keeps repeating itself there you go a very simple ultrasonic infrared sensor program